Well, hello there. Very exciting news. I got monetized today. I woke up this morning and there on my YouTube was, you can apply now to get monetized. And I was like, what? Um, so that's basically taken me a couple of months and it wasn't a new channel. It was an old channel that I had for many years and I just wanted to kind of revamp it and redo it. And I'm absolutely delighted. Now listen, I might get like, I don't know, 20 euro, which is the equivalent to 12, about $20. I don't know, so who knows what that will look like in terms of monies, but I'm thrilled. I'm really delighted. Um, I know I'd put up a video to say that I was going to start, you know, doing more videos about analyzing the, or going through the analytics of how that happened. And I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Because, because I quickly realized I am not that person and um, that's fine. So I just, I'm not a numbers person. I, I just, yeah, I thought, oh yeah, that'd be really interesting to do. And then after my first video, I went, no, I won't do that again. But what I will say is that I have been putting out a video every week and I've been doing a few shorts. And I don't know that there was that much else to it really um but perhaps you're here for the irish accent i don't know but whatever it is thank you for joining and thank you for following along my name is paula and i am a visual artist and i'm based in dublin in ireland hold on i have a crying dog that wants to get out this is said dog so this is our little rescue isn't that right this is ivy ivy is our little terrier mix something i don't know with uh her superhero ears and we also have a lab retriever a black lab retriever she is definitely too big for me to lift up anyway thank you so much for being here um it's been really interesting to come back to this channel so this wasn't a brand new channel i had this channel that was dormant for quite some time so it's been really good to, I guess, just have that bit of energy to come back to it. And instead of doing all of the analytics, what I realized is what I'm very passionate about is, is just sharing what I've learned along my journey and hoping that that helps other artists along the way. And particularly artists who are in my age group, my demographic, because I think we're not really seen so much on here. I think that's beginning to gain momentum and I think it's a wonderful thing. Um, so welcome. Today, let me show you what I'm going to be doing. Well, firstly, a couple of things. Is I've been feeling... Hold on, let me come back to the mic. I've been feeling very stuck lately. So I've been working on a new collection and these are some of the pieces behind me. Uh, I'm really enjoying working on the larger pieces. But the smaller pieces for me have been, I don't know what word to say, but they've been very glitchy. So they haven't been in flow like I would like them to be. And these are some of the smaller pieces. And I feel like what I need to do is maybe go back to them. So these are small 30 by 30s. And I add collage onto some of my works. Normally they're like little squiggles and stuff for my kids from when they were younger. Um, but it just hasn't really been working. And let me take the ball from the dog because she will just continually squeak. Ivy, let go. Drop it. Drop. Very obedient dog. Got the ball. Um, so <laughs> she's going to come around looking for it. So basically I'm in a bit of a quandary as what to do. And I think really, I know what I should do. And that is put more layers on them and build them up. But I have the fear, the fear of, um, what if I start and I mess them all up? But the fact of the matter is, is I'm actually not really happy where they're at at the moment. So, you know, maybe I should just give it a go anyway. Hello, hello little lady. <laughs> turning into the mom dog <laughs> mom dog voices um 
so yeah that aside I really led me down the road of what am I going to do so I borrowed a copy many years ago of The Artist's Way from a, a fellow artist friend of mine and I never did anything with it and it came to my mind the other day and I just thought you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start hold on let me tend to a puppy who needs some like just a little bit of attention and love and affection like we all need hey so yeah lots of it is really about um journeying it's a 12 week course i guess you could call it a 12 week course and every morning you do your morning pages which you have to basically freestyle write for three pages and it's it's really just a brain dump of everything that's going on in your head and i think that can be creative or otherwise i mean it's all interlinked isn't it um and then the other thing is an artist date so once a week you have to go on an artist date with just yourself and i think the thought process behind that is to get outside and do something different that you're giving yourself space and time to do something creative in my mind i'm thinking bringing a sketchbook somewhere um going to write somewhere going to a gallery those are the kind of things that i guess i'm thinking of but maybe a five-star hotel would be nice as well i don't know <laughs> um but yeah i'm gonna give this a go and in the meantime, I'm just going to continue on with these paintings and see kind of where it leads me. I'm going to just face the fear anyway and move forward. But isn't that just it? Isn't like I was just thinking, I know I'm not the only one, like in terms of from an artistic point of view that you get to a stage and then you feel like actually that was flowing really, really well. And now I'm feeling very, very stuck and challenged about the next stages. Um so i'm sure lots of you can relate with that so i'll keep you posted on how i go with those but i'm about to get the paint out now i do a lot of um just mixing my own paints um as i go so i know a lot of artists will you know have a catalog of the paints that they use and make them up and have samples and stuff i don't do that <laughs> i mean there's no right or wrong way but i just I'm very intuitive so I very much like mix as I go and this is one of my lovely colours that I mixed in a little jam jar and I just love it um, and that's probably some of the main colours that were on these ones I mean I've mixed them with all kinds of other colours so I'm just going to do a little palette of the paints and see how I get on. Okay, so I think what I'm do gonna do is I'm gonna leave it there because otherwise I'll be prone to overworking. So I put quite a few more layers on and um, that's that one. I ended up just working on two because I'll begin on the other ones in a while. I was really going for, this is an, a, a piece that I finished off recently. So I really wanted to have a lot more layers with the collage that I use as well. And I wanted it to be Quite cohesive with I guess that work as well um, and so there's really I guess there's quite a theme to my work as well in terms of the aesthetics and what it looks like so I was hoping to achieve that so I'm gonna come back to these later they're quite um they're quite wet as you can see the paint on those is quite thick so I'll leave that for a little while and then come back to it and I've kept like the collage pieces in it just to 
um, keep those just because I because I like them. That's why. So I'm keeping those in, and I'll come back those later. I quite like leaving works and then coming back later on and seeing how I feel about them. I feel like it's coming back with fresh eyes. So that's what I'll do. So two things that you guys have been asking me, which is amazing. I'm happy to answer any questions. The first was the wonder cards, which I shared last time. And these really came out of wanting to kind of change my own um, mindset around um, work and how I show up. And so I made these wonder cards. They're 31 affirmation cards, one for every day. And I tend to take one out and leave it wherever I'm working or pop it in my bag or leave it on my desk, um, something like that. So the other day I shared them and I didn't really, I don't, maybe I did talk about them, I don't know. Anyway, I shared them and one of the comments was, you didn't leave them on the screen for long enough. So people wanted to see them, but they couldn't actually see what they said. So I'm hoping that this is going to be long enough for you to to read. So I am brave. I can step into new pathways for myself. Um, I love that one. And if you want to check them out, there's a link below that you can have a look at. Um, let's see. Is there another nice one that we can have for today? And just take this as, as your word going forward for today. How's about that? So, the world needs my energy and my creativity. I love that. So that's for you today. Check them out down below in the link. And the other thing that people were asking me about was my apron. My very fancy stylish apron. So this I got on Amazon and it is a lovely thick kind of canvas and um, it's got a little clip back and it's just easy to pop on. I'll pop a link below, an affiliate link below in the comments, whatever. Um, and yeah, that's about it for today. I will let you know how I get on with the, the artist way. And if that's a book that you've done before, I would love to know how you got on with it. I'm hoping that this is the week that I'm going to start it and it's for 12 weeks, as I said. So that would continue on from autumn right into winter and it might be a nice time for me to do it. This video has been more about like the process of what I'm working on and trying to push through those barriers of when your mind says don't do anything about that. The fear, I guess, the fear of making mistakes and being unhappy with how that might turn out. And I guess you just have to push into that anyway. So that's really what today has been about. I hope you've enjoyed a bit more of my process and seeing how I work in the studio. And thank you so much for joining me. There are so many more of you now. And I am just like, what? two months and there's so many more so thank you wherever you are in the world let me know and if you've done the artist way yeah please i'd love to know how you felt it works for you or if not maybe give it a try and see how you get on anyway thank you lovely creatives if you haven't already subscribed please do i'd love to have you along on this journey and until next time bye